Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Mega Man 8. I know, it's been a long time since I touched this. So, I wanted to show you this because, um, the main reason why I have been doing much of Mega Man 2. I mean, Mega Man 8. Did I say Mega Man 2? Mega Man 8. Welcome back to Mega Man 8. Sorry about that. Yeah. I've been asleep for so long, so... God, have to forgive me for that. Um, here's what happened. Um, on a previous save, I actually got these two weapons, and I did record it, but the thing was, there was no audio. So, what I did was, I made a backup. So, actually, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use my backup, and hopefully, this picks up. And then, hopefully, on the backup, when it picks up, We will most likely go back to this file, just to pick up on the other two Robot Masters in the first half. So we're going to go with this file and see what develops there. And save states will be used for the following stages. So yes, it's okay to load Data 2 for Mega Man 8. So we got Grenade Man, Frost Man, Clown Man, and Tengu Man for our first half of Robot Masters. So without further ado, this area is it's a lot like um a previous Mega Man area which I do believe is like oil man stage or something I, I forgot but these are explosives so trying to set them off will be in your best interest to not try to set them off if you can't help it anyway. Part, what we want to do here is just to make a path. Now, I have to admit, when I actually did this stage, or actually practice it, I ended up sliding instead of, um, jump going forward. So, 
So I'm being very careful here. Which made no damn sense. As you can see, my finger just slipped. Because I'm using D-pad. Mainly. So as I said before, I am going to save state throughout this area because... Reasons because. My finger always manages to just slip on that right trigger cave line. This is from Classic Man Man. I think it was like either six or seven that actually had this. So, indeed, I am safe saving. Safe, safe, safe stating. Safe stating, yeah. I'm being very careful here. Get that extra bolt right there. go to our mini boss very easy and simple if you just shoot the eye That's all you have to do, really. Now you can use the rock ball. If you so choose. But using the Rock Buster is more simpler because it penetrates through the shield. And we get the Rush Cycle. Ready. So we're now at the second half of this stage. And 
cameras are being added. And of course, snakes. Now these enemies are they yeah. These enemies spawn an infinite item, so therefore can't really get rid of them. But good for farming if you need that oh so needed weapon energy. The funny thing is you don't know where they spawn they spawn at. If you had the flame sword, it would help if you had the flame sword just to get that um, bolt over there. I definitely need that help. Oh, grenade, Joe. thing about this enemy right here when they set that on fire run we're gonna save stay here and run If you're fast enough, you can get that. But as far as I'm concerned, the bolts can go with guide. And this part I hate so much because the swinging hammers again. So mind you, I'm safe standing at every danger point to me. That I deem a danger because... Because of that. Okay, I was just no nervous. What the hell? That was stupid. That was even 
e that was even dumber. Oof. And this is the last part. And now we meet with Grenade Man. Grenade Man isn't such a hard boss because for the most part he'll just throw grenades at you. And apparently a flash bomb. And some girders. I'll punish you. Yo. The trick is just to stay close to him. Redo. Like I said before, the trick is stay close to him. First you say you'll punish me. Like, I, I almost had him. safe state, it causes some different things. Flash bomb the entire way through, and then I'll be nice on you. lies. I'm not taking no life off off any of my life counters, not in this boss. Or any boss, since I got the power of safe state. No need to. Yes, I, I am. I am experimenting with this. One moment he throws grenades. One moment he throws flash bombs. Crush everyone. <laughs> Crush everyone. Ah. 
Why'd I do that? Again, why the hell did I do that? Yes, I'm not going to take a life. Not like that. So close. Another one down the wire. Yeah, I know. I know it's like a chain of comedy errors, but I don't, I don't care. we go oh that was good to me but that's the whole trick you gotta stay close to him and what do we get rock man Okay. Okay, I'm not sure how long that's gone that that took me, but um <sighs> I got a stage clear. Um, 
I can always overwrite it, can I? Hey, you know what? Just in case, I'm going to put it to here. So that way, just in case, if I mess up, it shouldn't be too much of a hassle. But I think one is good. I think I'm just going to do one per episode. Tadaima. some power-ups for you, Mega Man. I can make you a part if you bring me some bolts. So, you can ask for a part, save, or go into your options and change your, and change your setup. So, before I actually end this part, yeah, I think I'm just going to do one per part. I'm going to show you exactly what they have here. For six bolts, you can get a power shield, a spare extra, a shooting part, in which you can shoot up to five Mega Busters together. For five, you can get an energy balancer. For four, an exit. I, for I forgot what they called it in um, Mega Man X4. But yeah, you can actually get an exit. Step booster. These are all for the only ones that the only one that doesn't really cost much is the exit. For everything else, it's fine. Like the step booster. The auto shoot. The Edo shot. And a laser shot. All nifty, but I think the power shield might be my best bet just to help me from getting knocked back. But not real good on um on um auto scroll levels. You'll see what I mean when we get to Frostman stage in the next part. Spare extra will be nice just to get four extra lives. Arrow shot. If it's better than the charged Mega Buster, then I might consider that. Auto shoot. It's pretty much me just going. That's all I'm doing. Of course, that means when you actually go through all this, when you actually um, think about it, most are good, but most not so good. Like I'm definitely going to get, I'm definitely going to get an energy balancer, arrow shot, and a spare extra. Power, uh, uh, the power shield, not entirely certain if I want the power shield, but if it just, you know, if I'm knocked back, if I'm in an area in which I receive a lot of knockback, that would help, but as far as time, as far as anything else goes, you know, it's more like a pick your poison sort of deal. 
Those are all the items here that Roll is selling to us in Dr. Light's lab. So what I think I want to do here is I'm going to stop. Hopefully it picked up this time. And next time, we're going to take off Frostman. Because I'm Frostman and I can't speak. So I'll see you next time for more Mega Man 8. I'm pretty certain of it this time. Stay tuned for the next part. <laughs>